That day, I wanted to go to Gurney Drive to visit my beloved, newly opened French retail shop to buy some affordable sporting goods. And I decided to record some footage of me taking the public transport there. For someone staying in Butterworth, Georgetown and Gurney Drive always seem so close and yet so far from me. Geographically, it is very near. It is just 3 kilometers away. But in reality, it is a huge pain in the ass to go there. Most of the people would instinctually take their car, take the Penang Bridge, and drive almost 30 kilometers there. But as anyone who has driven across the Penang Bridge to Georgetown or Gurney Drive before, the traffic is a big headache. One car broke down on the Penang Bridge could easily bring the traffic to a crawl. Not to mention how hard it is to find a car park in Georgetown. So let's say I don't want traffic jam. Then the other option must be public transport. One might even think it is better to take the public transport for my case, since I'm so near to the Penang Central. A short ferry trip and perhaps another bus ride, I could be anywhere on the island just like that. Theoretically, it does seem that easy, but due to the poor public transport system, it is troublesome to use it. My first hurdle is the ferry service. Please note that this video was recorded in July. By the time you watch this video, there should already be a new ferry service which I'm not sure if there is any updates on the timetable. But what I know is that the old ferry service timetable was just horrible. Low frequency means I have to time my trip correctly. If I miss one, I have to waste potentially up to one and a half hour for the next service. Not to mention the last trip departing from Swettenham Pier at Georgetown site is at 9 p.m. If I miss this, that means I'm stranded on the island or I have to pay a huge sum for a grab to go back home. If I'm in Georgetown area, that hard time cut of 9pm is still manageable to meet. I could just run. But if I happen to be anywhere else, take Gurney for example, then I have to factor in the unpredictable traffic jam or any other mishap. It is extremely anxiety inducing whenever I see the sun start to set while I'm still in the bus heading to jetty, stuck in traffic. So if there is anything in Georgetown I want to attend in the evening, it is always wiser to avoid the ferry. Talking about bus stuck in traffic. That is the second hurdle, as it can challenge anyone's limits of patience. For example, the bus trip from Jetty to Gurney can vary from 15 minutes with the smoothest traffic ever to more than an hour during the severe traffic jam. Personally, I don't even mind the fact that I have to carry around exact change in order to take the bus, but the unpredictability is really a torture. I know that in KL, they already started to implement and enforce dedicated bus lanes. I wonder, when will Penang have it too? Because whenever I'm in a bus stuck in traffic, looking out at the other cars, seeing most of the cars just carry one or two people, while the bus I'm in is packed with passengers, I think this is such a huge waste of public space. I always think, shouldn't the bus be given the priority to be able to move faster? Some might say, the roads in Penang are narrow enough, there's simply not much space to be converted into bus lanes. But I would argue that it is precisely because the roads are narrow that we need to implement it. In Penang, we cannot afford to waste any more space. 
Imagine that we have dedicated bus lanes and the buses are frequent enough. We don't even need this high-tech signboard to tell user the estimated arrival time of the bus. User could just show up and take the bus. To be honest, I can understand why most people drive too. Since the bus ride is not as comfortable as my car and doesn't get me to my destination any faster than if I drive, it simply doesn't make sense to take the bus. That's why I don't usually take the bus. I only take one when I have plenty of free time and mentally prepared to be tortured. I usually drive to anywhere I want to go, but there's always a cognitive dissonance back in my mind. I know taking the bus can ease the traffic, but I also know very well taking the bus is just painful. Overall, I think it's really a shame that going to Gurney Drive is so damn difficult. Like my case for example, I want to go there to spend. The retail shops also want my spending. But just happened that the only obstacle that is in the way is the difficult trip to go there. <laughs> or maybe I should just stay at home and save the money. <laughs>